Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld Beta 18 Jungle Tribals. This will be part 8 of our Let's Play. And in the last episode we, uh, well you might notice one significant difference if you didn't watch the previous episode and that is our border walls. So we've, sorry, fortified and secured uh, a lot of our approaches and we have this trap corridor now. Uh, we haven't had a raid yet, so I guess we'll see how useful it is uh, once a raid comes in. And uh, in terms of research, we're still, still working on Soil Reclamation 2, because it is 5,100 research points. Whew. It should get done in this episode, though, so that'll be exciting. And then we'll be able to start reclaiming all this marshy soil and stuff here. We'll be able to put down actual soil. So that we can, uh, so that we can place buildings and we'll be able to like reclaim all this and we'll be able to put solar panels on it. We don't have solar panels yet, but Toad has been a smoke leaf. Eh. Uh, I don't know why you are ecstatically happy. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so we've got all our recurve bows complete. Excellent. Who doesn't have one? Okay, Squint doesn't have one. And Riss has got one. Tony, you're a melee. Uh, you are shooting, but I think you do have one. Yeah, you do. You are a melee. Yeah, your shooting's awful. Same with you. Well, we could make you an Iqua instead of the Jade Knife. Yeah, Ironwood maybe not. But I preferably want sort of a Steel Iqua. Okay, which we can't make it a crafting spot. Uh, we would need a Smelter, which we don't have because we've been focusing on Soil Reclamation. Hmm. Oh yeah, smithing is our number two priority. And I think that is... That is right. <laughs> yep, I think that's right. So, everyone's got a recurve bow. We might actually make a couple more. Just because one of them... Who was it? Was it Toads? Yeah, yours is poor. So we, we can get them at least normal, that would be. In fact, we got two that are poor. If we can get them at least normal, I'd be a lot happier. It's a nice little nook there. Might be a decent water spot, actually, if we eventually get to that point. You know, it's open top, protected, because most of this is, like, overhead mountain. Rock roof. Yeah, relatively well protected. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's do some more grabbing. I'll grab this. Clear out these defenses for the enemy here. Oops. Especially that stuff. We don't have a lot of space though. Is this because we are out of... Or we've filled up our stone cutting? No. 510 is how much we want. Why do we not have someone crafting that? Low food. Yeah, you are right. That is pretty low. 70%. Okay, so we, th this corn's nearly done, so that'll sort of mitigate a lot of that. So that that's okay. Low food, not so much. <laughs> right. How can we improve? We really can't much at the moment, purely because we don't have access to a lot of stuff. It's Tony and Squint's birthday party today. Really? Born on the same day. Uh, 3rd of September. 3rd of September, wow, what are the odds? 
out of uh, three, six, eight randomly generated people. That's so weird. That's so terribly weird. Ooh, yes! Okay! Good! Actually, this is perfect timing. So this is for the psychology mod. And we can have elections. A mayoral election is being held in the Vegavas of the jungle. Some colonists there have announced their candidacy. Chicken. At the moment, chicken. Chicken's running for mayor of the Vegavas of the jungle. This is her platform. No one else is capable of leading this colony. Seems like no one else has, like, announced their candidacy, so I suppose. Drug usage restrictions should be loosened. Interesting. This colony is on the right track. Damn right. My commitment to ideals would make me a good mayor. As mayor, I'll tackle our problems carefully. Interesting. I've never seen one of these before, because it used to be bugged in the previous uh, previous build. Clients have time to acquaint themselves with the candidates. Does this mean Chicken's going to need a bigger bedroom? Hope not. Hope it's not like Dwarf Fortress, where you have to, you know... Sort out the nobles. Uh, okay, can we... Oh, you're actually collecting it. Alright, that's fine. I suppose we do have a lot of colonists doing, like, not much at the moment, so... Makes sense that they would go and haul. Uh, but can we do that urgently, please? God, and Squint 69 and Tony 67, that's so weird. That's so weird. How good is that? So, biologically, Squint is five years older than Tony, but chronologically, Squint is only two years older than Tony. Kind of weird to wrap your head around in this game sometimes. Tattered apparel, I swear to god, if it's you wearing this mesh shirt... Okay, no, it's a tunic. Uh, which we are making, right? Make some more tunics, please. Uh, and chicken, are you wearing the mesh shirt? Of course you are. Guys, sometimes you just really frustrate me. <laughs> because, and here's the annoying thing, you're gonna whinge about that, aren't you? Wearing worn out apparel, yeah. God damn it. Selection finished yet? I suppose it should probably take at least like 24 hours, right? So the end candidate is chicken, so... Why even bother? Where are you going? Oh, you're cutting right at the managing job. Oops, it's not the button I meant to press. Oh, that is so much faster now that they've uh, tied in this to the save game. So it like preloads it when you load the save, instead of before it used to read it from the save when you needed it. That was not a smart way to do it. Much, much, much improved. Yeah, so this forestry. I'm thinking we should do something about this. Wow, that's a lot of capybaras. Good lord. 17 capybaras. Huh. Alright, so food is solved. That's fine. Oh my god, we're so close to soil reclamation too. I want it. I want it so bad. Job coach. Ibuprofen, fluids. And yeah, a drug lab. Okay. Advanced bridge building. Yeah. Not something that we're gonna really use in this map. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll be easier to build a bridge over this stuff than it is to reclaim it. I don't know, we'll see. We will, we will see, I guess. Do, do, do. So 
Synchronized threshold. I don't understand. Also, there's a mining one now? When did that go in? Interesting. Ooh, a psychic ship. That's not terribly good. Okay. I don't know how we're going to deal with this. Okay, I have an idea first. Now that shouldn't trigger any enemies. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to run a power conduit out here. Like this. Ooh, that fire is getting bad. And it's raining. Yeah, don't worry about it. The rain will put it out. It's foggy rain even, so that's doubly bad. Okay, but here's what we're going to do. I want to finish that, and we're going to move the precision turret over there. Now, I don't know what the enemies that are in here are going to be. If there's two enemies, that could be a serious problem. But if there's only one, like, center... No, uh, not centipede. What are they? Scythers. That could be manageable. Are you going, like, all the way out there after bamboo? Yeah, why? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just press every button that's not the right one. Why are you so attached to bamboo? Or is it... Is it foraging? It is foraging. Don't do that. I'm not sure why foraging counts bamboo too. That's why they're always running so far out, because like I've got plenty of bamboo. Because I can forage it, but I can't count it as being foraged, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't go towards the threshold. But they still go out there to get it. And that's really stupid and annoying. I showed of capybara is passing through the area. I already have a large herd of capybaras. Having said that though, damn son, that's a lot of capybaras. What happened to you? Bitten by cobra. Yep, you guys can just pass right on through. I don't want none of it. Reinstall at here. So what our plan is going to be here is we're going to maybe like shoot this and activate or activate the turret and then just shoot it once and then just leg it. Because I think that's about the only chance we've got. I just want to see what the range is on this. Ooh, not quite enough. Okay. Gonna reinstall it here. And then just run a bit more power cable. I mean, obviously we can. It's no big deal. Oh my god, it's done. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, that should allow us to reclaim soil, right? Digs up sand, marshy soil, mud, marsh, ice, gravel, and places dirt. Ah, so, but it doesn't on everything. Okay, well, this stuff here absolutely needs replacing. So I'm going to queue up this. Something like that. Uh, do we not have a dirt digging spot? I don't think we do. Okay, so I'll just go here and here. Both of these... 
Okay, so it doesn't really work, but add a build, dig soil, do until you have, say, actually not that much, maybe like 300 or so. Sounds good. Um, right. Pause when satisfied, unpause of like 10. Can't actually get to 10, can I get to 20? That's good. I'm pause at 20. Please. Thank you. Okay, but now we can start reclaiming all this marshy, crappy ground that's not good for anything. How are we doing on fertilizer? Not great. In fact, not at all. Although, having said that, fertilizer's not really a priority because it uses, like, meat and stuff. Or is it? It started at a butcher table, right? Yeah, compost starter. Yeah, 10 wood and 10 raw food. Like, if we start using our raw food on compost starter, we're going to run into problems. Hi. I hear death. What's that death? Probably that cobra attacking something, but even so. Okay, so hang on, have we moved the, uh... Oh wow, that... Why is that snow spreading that way so fast? That's weird. Hmm. Uh, right, have we moved this? No. Guessing we're moving it now. Squint, you know, while you're there, do you just want to hang on? Reinstall that there. Where if I was doing that? Ah, we have to cut the tree there. I really wish I'd hurry up because I want this dealt with before too much longer. How bad of a psychic ship is it, just by the way? Low. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, they start lower than they they progressively get worse. That's right. That's how psychic ships work, as opposed to just uh, psychic, um, psychic wave or whatever they're called. <laughs> I've seen banana tree. Okay. The problem is, when they do things like this, it means that I'm really going to have to, like, focus on on getting them all before I, I attack anything. Normally, I would just trust that one person can do that. No. Thank you. Finish your job before you go smoking the ganj, please. Jesus. Okay, so you should have range over it now, right? Ooh, yeah. Might even be a little bit too close. Maybe. We should probably put sandbags around it. Okay, and then after that we're going to attack the... We're going to sort out this, this psychic ship. And it will probably be the death of our colony, but I guess we'll see. Wouldn't be the first time the uh, darkest timelines asserted itself. Wow, awful. Who is making these recovers? Chicken. Chicken, what is your crafting? Three. Uh, good lord. Why is the election still running? Hmm. Strange. Thought it would be over by now, but maybe not. My cow, Bill, how many people are you friends with? Three. You have three friends. <laughs> Man, you've got Stockholm Syndrome. Something fierce. Oh, well, when someone dies because of the uh, psychic ship, you'll be easier to, to grab.
Alright, I really want these sandbags done before I do it. Hey, look at that. So reclaim soil is actually... Oh no, it's the same. The ancient structure. Yeah, but which nearby animals? That one, by the looks. Okay, none of the elephants. Thank God. Just seems like that one. Oh no, that cassowary too, maybe? Yeah. Okay. That might be okay. Right, you got a bow, you got a knife, so you can jump on the turret. Because I don't think their shoot skill affects the, uh... Yep, and you hit squid. What a surprise. Yes, please, hit the actual... The actual thing we're trying to attack. And you go here, because why not? Alright. That is even more reason to get rid of that psychic ship. I didn't know they do that, but it's been a long time since I've had a psychic ship. Normally I just get the uh, poison ships. Alright, Squint nearly lost a foot there, thank god. He managed to avoid it. Smoking a smoke leaf joint. Taking a simple meal. And yeah, maybe now you should get to the goddamn bed. Sometimes priorities on these pawns are just, just dumb. Okay. Val, you're a healer, aren't you? No, I know Toad is. I'll just leave you there. You're, you're dumb, so we'll, you, know, you get what you deserve. Okay, let's check these guys out. None, Mascus, Psychic Sensitive, Pessimist, that's not good. I bet you're not happy here. Yeah. Macaulay, what about you? No. Okay. Do, 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 do. Alright, have you fixed up these sandbags yet? Negative. Why? Ah, okay, so you're still hauling. That's okay. The one thing I don't want you doing is doing what you always do, which is hauling the stuff out to the sandbags and then just not working on it. <clears throat> which, actually, Toad is about to do. Okay. Let's get a builder. Ah, Rissa the Builder actually isn't a constructor. Interesting. Um, sure, chicken you'll do. Stop smoking joints and construct the sandbags. And now we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to deal with this thing. Because it's gonna go night soon, which means everything will have a lower chance to hit. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Thank you. Complete your job before you go. Yeah, yeah. It's now a medium drone, which is affecting my colonists. How? Well, wow, actually, you are absolutely hating it. And you're also joy deprived and stuff. Okay, that's not actually awful. Yeah, there we go. An item stash opportunity containing electronic brain pal. There are sleeping mechanoids in the area. Show me. Okay, that's actually not that far away, right? We could get there. 0.9 days. Okay, Tony, just go to bed. We'll, uh, we'll sort you out in the morning, but that psychic drone is going to be the death of you. Especially for Linda, was it? 
Yeah, with the psychic sensitivity. Plus forty percent. Okay, that's actually not that terrible. I mean, that's that's like one of those uh, traits that isn't going to affect anything ninety percent of the time. Could definitely have something that's a lot worse. All right, Squint, how are you feeling? Are you getting better? Good. As soon as we hit six a.m., we're going to uh, see what we can do. I don't feel, don't feel confident here. Uh, right. you'll do. Chicken, head over here. Can we flick this on, please? Thank you. Alright, so, Precision Turret has power. I'm sending my, my person that's gonna be elected out first. First one to die. Alright, fire at that, please. Okay, and we have two. That's not good, because that's a... Uh... Okay, it's got a pretty quick... Yeah... That's what I was concerned about. Why are you missing so much, though? Seriously. Did you just hit first? No, no, you didn't hit first. did get hit that time. And again, I can't, like... Okay, I think this precision gun is gonna die. Ah, uh, chicken, if you run, you can just get back. Like, I can't designate you a target, and that's really annoying. Gaston, what are you doing? Oh, my dog's gonna die. Because so I doubt you're ever gonna do enough damage to that on your own. Oh, you're joking! What animals? Okay, that. that uh, what horrible timing! Get on that. Get on that. Toad, you get over here. Squint, you're still hurt, but you're gonna just have to butch up. Is that Manhunter? No. Oh, actually, they're attacking the uh, mechanoids. That could work out well for us, if only as a distraction. <sighs> Connus needs treatment. Would you just rest until healed, please? Ah, uh, Val, you can stop it too. Toad, where are you going? Harvesting mushrooms. Nice! Okay, that's the centipede down. Wow, that psychic pulse just there could be what saves us. Oh, and it was. Oh, thank god. Um. Right, everyone with a melee weapon, which is you. One, two, three, get over here. Wow, that was so lucky. I didn't know that the maddened animals attack mechanoids. Uh, can we pull anything off you? I don't think so, right? No, we just shot down. We could have pulled the scyther claws off this, but unfortunately, it died. So what did the damage then? A oh, one gunshot in the thorax. Yeah. Those are uh, those centipedes are hefty. Look how many precision shots it took. One to the head. Didn't even half damage it. Those are scary, man. Okay, we'll just reinstall that over there. I'll leave the sandbags and stuff because it doesn't really matter. Uh, right. Uh, 
Can I only attack that, please? Make short work of it. Just the tribals coming here and bashing away on the uh, ship with this, with their uh, little spears and knives. Okay. Didn't get an AI core. Oh, yeah, you don't get those anymore. Oh, I don't think they changed that in this update. But now you have to buy them or or travel cross-country to get the ship AI core. That is so nasty. That means that from the... Uh, from the psychic ships, you effectively get nothing. Like, poison ships, meh. They're not that much of a danger in the first place to be really worried about it, but... Oh, the fact that you now get nothing from an AI, uh, a psychic ship too, that just sucks. Ah, right, we can switch this off too. Well, okay, we dealt with that. That went a lot better than I thought. We only had chicken that took some, you know, minor injuries. I say minor, but it was a nearly lost leg. But nearly lost leg is not a lost leg, so... All right, we need more uh, passive cools. Because it is getting hot again. Is that enough? No, there's one down here. And we'll put one in here. Four degrees indoors, we'll chuck one in there as well, just to be safe. Oh, and uh, we'll want to put one over here to make sure these guys don't die of heat stroke while they're in my settlement. Because that would be bad. I don't need any more enemies. Pretty much tapped out on enemies at the moment. Tony, what are you doing? Hauling oranges. Fair enough. Um, is there a way? Is there a way to pause a management? Check if targets are reachable. Enabling the setting may decrease performance, particularly on large maps. Mountainous maps, jobs with many potential targets, and colonies with high numbers of colonists. Okay. Don't really understand what that's about. Um, absolutely amazed by my hospitality. Nice. Yeah, is there a way to pause these? It doesn't look like it. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Because there, uh, we, we really should pause, like, the foraging ones, because what happens is, right, they forage away, and the food gets immediately used in meals. Therefore, it gets wasted. Like, they, they just keep foraging because they have to keep getting more. Hmm. I don't know if I like that, but... It'll be okay, I guess. Chicken's fully recovered. Excelente. Would be really nice to get turrets, but they are a really long distance away. Which is rather gun turrets. I mean, it's really far away, but I don't see how you have much choice. Election underway. Selected a polling place from the available gathering spots. Ah, chicken is uh, at the polling place. Right. Oh, that's very cool. Very well programmed. I like it. Simple. Very simple. But it works just fine. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, everyone's actually got jobs to do, so no one's actually, like, at the bowling place. Election won by chicken! Received four votes. She'll now receive visits from her constituents in her room if she has one. If they have complaints, they will likely feel better after talking to her if she is good at talking to people and understanding their feelings. Uh, having a beautiful room to meet them in won't hurt either. Keep a close eye on her. She has no one to complain to, and bearing the burdens of an entire colony can be hard, especially things are good, if things are going badly. Mm. I'd say the bedroom's awful. It's not that bad, is it? Oops. Uh, it's that one. It is awful, but that's mainly because of the dirt, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's mainly the dirt, right? So we just need to clean stuff. I mean, look at that bedroom. That's awful. Hmm. So do we have any, like, impressive rooms? Awful, awful, awful. It's because we're not doing cleaning, see. Yeah, and that's just really bad. <laughs> oh, good lord. Good lord. Okay, so that's getting reclaimed. <clears throat> slowly but surely. Where are you going? Harvesting mushrooms. Mmm. Maybe we could just, hang on, what if we up this to, because we don't really need it now. Let's go monthly. Yeah, we, we have enough food now that we don't need to forage every day. Or unless the foraging every day is what's giving us a lot of food, but there's only one way to find out. I really wish I were doing this more than one square at a time, but I guess it keeps them busy. Some ridiculously busy. Right, we still have this, the death room. And it is inside our walls, which is a problem. Not not like a problem, they're not gonna break out or anything, but <gasps> we finally got Billa! Oh my god! At last! Where the hell are we going to put you? I guess we'll just put you up here. I don't suppose you end up like in a relationship with someone because you have so many friends. <laughs> um, okay, that goes there. Make sure it's at least superior, right? Yeah. Uh, floor, we'll just do wooden floors. Yep. And right, what else do we need here? We need a what an end table. We need a dresser and a plant pot. Pot. And finally a passive cooler. Uh, are these all okay? I don't think they have a limit, but I'll just say at least normal. I wouldn't want them to be bad, but anything above normal should be fine, which it looks like may have been what I've done for the rest of them. Okay, so we've got smithing done. Excellent. Uh, we don't have a research project. What do we get? Well, I don't know. Solar panels? I said we needed turrets, and we do. But the question is, question is, are we going to need solar panels before that? And I think the answer might be yes. Because if we're going to run turrets, we're probably going to need the, uh, probably going to need the extra power. Alright, but we do now have a smithy. Field smithy. Just go ahead and put that there, and go ahead and put a nice, uh, nice dining chair there. Make it at least superior. Uh, it's a bad temperature. It is a bad temperature in there, I'll give you that. It's not in there, though.
Unfortunately, Billa, we don't have a room for you yet. Uh, Billa, right. Do -do -do -do. Oops. Get all this done. What else have you got? Smithing and tailoring, but you shit at it, so let's not do that. Hauling and cleaning. I like it. I like it. Um, negotiating, handling, wardening. Yeah, that's all fine. That should all be fine. Uh, what is your... What are your combat stats? Mainly melee. Okay, we can deal with that. Oh, right, we have the barracks there for, like, the... Ah, ha ha see? Caused a short in the circuit. All 3,000 watts of energy in the connected batteries has been discharged, but any serious damage was prevented by the fuses, so we've broken our makeshift fuse. But that's okay. Ah, uh, bandit camp opportunity. Uh, all enemies and turrets. Yeah, we're not going to be able to destroy all enemies and turrets. I appreciate it, but... Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, that's going to get repaired, and that saved us from an explosion. Okay, Bill, so you're awake now? Is that right? What are your stats? Night Owl. Right, so you need... You need, uh to do it at night. You need to sleep during the day. So can I... How many hours do you sleep? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. Uh, so can you sleep from eight, nine, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not much, is it? You know what? You can have extra sleep and we'll just give you anything for these hours. Or maybe we knock one off this side. Eight is definitely daytime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, two on that side, three on that side, yeah. Alright. Hopefully that'll be fine. And we'll get you a weapon. Get you a weapon. Uh... Right, weapons are something we're trying to sort out right now. Cool, we fixed up the fuse. Taika is just a tree that's grown in the way. <laughs> Directly between the, the targeting spot and the target. What a joke. You know, just for the sake of appearances, next time one of them stands there, I'm going to put down a nice floor to show where they are. Got some concrete floors in front. In front of each of the targets, so it's like you stand here. Just all looks nice. Bit of a bit of flair. What are we building? What do I hear? Oh right, the chair. Yeah. Come on, squint, do it in one. Ah, damn it, close. Not quite though. Not quite at all. Hmm. Uh, right, let's make some Iquas. Between 60 and green. So let's make, say, two Iquas out of steel. For the best. And while we're at it, let's put a passive cooler in here so they stop complaining about a crap temperature. How are we doing on steel, by the way? Uh, I've got a stack there, stack there. Looks like we've got plenty. Yeah, 400. Yeah, yeah. We'll be fine. Uh, Rissa, how is your crafting? Oh, it's it's amazing. That's what I like to see. None of this bloody level 3 doing bloody crappy crafts on my watch. <laughs> we've nearly reclaimed that soil. We made pretty good progress on the solar panels for today, so that's good. Is that further apart? That just looks weird there. This marshy soil, so... Uh, what am I doing? Power. 
Ah, so you just can't build the center bit on marshy soil. Ah, okay. Makes makes sense, but you know, there's no guarantee that's how it works. Ah, Billa, your new home is over here. Enjoy. It's probably a nice room, yeah? Well, it's dull. Yeah, if you don't if you don't clean it, it drops so quickly. It's a bit a bit silly actually. Cause like 24, so 24, 18, 4, and 6. So just out of interest, what is that? So that's an excellent dresser, that's a superior pot, a good table, and a superior bed, and they barely add enough to keep up with like three bits of dirt on the ground. That's rough. Uh, let's bring that chopper up. I might even hunt this cobra just to get rid of it. We could always try and tame them. Have like a squadron of attack cobras. That'd be pretty funny. Hakuja, chief of the Green Ridge Treaty, has sent a message. He wants to talk to us in nearby location. But you can probably manage that. Point three days. I think we can manage that. Um. question is who do we send? Probably the one with the best... Well, trade price improvement will be a good indicator. Okay, so we'll send Val. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Val. Val, Val, Val. There you are. Take some simple meals, enough for just say two days just in case. And... Uh, Kind of bothers me that it's gonna stop my research getting done super quick, but if we can get peace with one faction, that might be good. Yeah, you're actually maxed out on my research. Noise. Ooh, we finished making iquas. Are they good? Okay, normal steel iqua. I'll take it. Caravan's ready. Good. Go there, please. Okay, who else needs a melee weapon? Kuro, you're sorted. Tony, you have a steel import normal. That's fine. And Bill. Oh, Val was the other one, wasn't it? No? I don't have three people with melee weapons. One. Oh, yeah. Sorry. One. Two. Three. So you have a steel iqua, you have steel iqua, so I just gave it to you, and you have a steel iqua. Villa needs a melee weapon, and that looks like that's an ironwood iqua. They over here, maybe. Or it's probably that shoddy one, yeah. Okay, can we make another two, please? Alright, what have you got? A poor recurve bow. How about a normal recurve bow? What have you got? Normal. Good. Poor. Do I have another recurve bow that's actually decent? Don't see one. No, so I'm gonna need more recurve bows as well. Chicken the mayor has just been inspired. She'll get a significant trade price bonus for her next trade deal. Visitors, a group from Kothlor are visiting the colony. Uh, are any of you oops, particularly good? Careful of lots of stuff. Careful of lots of stuff. Okay. Not real. You're a trainee alchemist. And you grew up to be a religious hierarch. Fair enough. Ah, uh, chicken, you just got a uh, trade price improvement. Let's do some trade. Medicine, don't mind if I do. Uh, components, we'll grab them. Again, this is like, why not? 
if we've got the trade price improvement. You know what? I'm even going to take the pump shotgun. Because you can have all these crappy bows that I don't want. What else can I give you? Well, that's Dead Man's Clothes. Do, do, do. Less than 50%. That's just crap. About 50%. Eh. Poor Duster. Just get rid of it. Uh, let's just get rid of all of this crap that we really don't want. And that might let us pay for the, uh, the shotgun. And we also have the, the sculptures. Boom. Done. I actually, we'll hold back on some of this then. Uh, hang on to the... Wow, they're worth 100 each. That's impressive. Good duster. Um, I don't even know what we want to keep. Sure, keep the shoulder pads. I'm happy with that. Seven, seven bucks is not too bad. Alright, I want all of this pulled urgently. I want all of that inside right now. Don't just leave it out there, please. Villa, you're a good man. You're getting it done. It's the components that really... Uh, I guess they don't matter. Unless they, like, actually deteriorate. Just because, um... I don't think it matters the quality of them when they're used in construction. Okay, so pump shotgun. Who do we give this to? I don't... No, probably the one with the best shooting at the moment, which it looks like is chicken. Um, move on. Yeah, chicken has the best aim. So chicken's the mayor and gets the shotgun. I guess we're, we're a tribe, so they're more like the, the democratically elected chief. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, but... That's how it works here, damn it. Okay, instead of playing Hoopstone, go and uh, equip that pump shotgun. Ooh, and actually, this works out fine because it means I don't need extra recoat bows. Because whoever had the crappy one, which was you, can have that one. Yeah, there we go. Still don't have a good equal, though. Or normally. There we go. Right, you. Was actually, do we do concrete or do something more interesting? No, let's do concrete. Right there. Um, the next question is do we put sterile tile down in here? And I think the answer is yes. We have the silver now, and the less silver we have, the easier our raids would be, so. Just rip up the floor there and replace it. That would probably be just fine. Ooh, nearly finished that. Be exciting. Be able to lay down some uh, solar panels when they're done. Beast Horse success! Talks to a success. The delegates reach new mutual understanding on several substantial issues. Relationship Relations with the Green Ridge Treaty have improved by 69! That's gonna bring them really high. Yeah. They they actually damn near like us. Huh. Wow, go uh go Val. And you got six thousand experience out of the deal as well. That might have gotten you a level. That's pretty impressive. That's a damn good result. Mm-hmm. Uh, build complete, make Iqua. Did you make a good one, though? That's the Ironwood one. I don't see... Oh, no, there's a good Iqua right there. Cool. 
Cool. So everyone's equipped with the best weapons that our money can buy. Not, not the best weapons that any money can buy, but good enough. Uh, can I actually see your stats? Your... Yes, I can. Ooh, nice! The fact that Squint just stuffed up making some of my sterile tiles is not nice, however. Because, as much as I have a bit of silver, I don't have that much to just be stuffing up tiles everywhere. So if you could do it right the first time, I'd really appreciate it. Doo 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 doo! Doo 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 doo! Alright, how long till Val's back? No, oh, he's like right outside. Point four days, half a day. Everybody's asleep. Sleepy time. So this precision turret's pretty good. That was definitely a good purchase. It's probably also the reason that we had such a, so much of a problem. Wait, what happened to you? Oh, it's a dead cobra. Right, I don't care about that. Yeah, it's probably part of the reason we've been having so much trouble, because our wealth is probably high as anything. Because of that, uh, that turret. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna do something like this. I'm not picky, it works exactly the same as the other soil, so... I'll, I'll replace other soil if need be. Soil, soil, marshy, 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 marshy. Okay, so these three... Yeah, I'll, I'll sort it out as I go. So these three there are actually the only three, so those three can be cancelled. Marshy soil... Yeah, wow, it was actually only those three spots that weren't. Squint. Squint, really? The, really, this is what you're going to do. You're going to stuff up my construction, and then you're going to set fire to things. We're going to have words, because this is just not good enough. This kind of behaviour needs, be, needs to be punished. Ah, right, Val, where's your bed? It's just here. Go. And then you can get straight back to, uh, to research, I guess. <laughs> uh. See, so look, we got you out of the house just for a little bit. And uh, now we need you to go get back to work. Now we need to crack the whip and get you back on the job. Uh, right. We can't really do anything here that's useful. We can make recurve bows, though. Can we do them out of metal? Is that what that... No, it's just 40 wood. Okay, I don't know why you can do that from smithy, then. It would be an interesting thing to add later on, that you can make, like, metal bows. Which sounds dumb, but, in fact, depending on the metal you use and how you, uh... How you create a bow, metal bows can be pretty ridiculous. Crossbows, even. Crossbows often had metal arms. Have more kinetic potential than uh, than wood. Generally speaking, anyway. All right, so we nearly have a completely sterile tiled medical area, which is good. It'll make all our treatments better. As long as we keep it clean, which is almost certainly not going to happen. Amazed by our hospitality? Excellent. And our reclamation is nearly done. Probably like two more days. The only thing holding it back is the, uh, the dirt here. But once we sort that out, it'll be okay. Like, once, once we deal with that, because we didn't have digging spots before we started that construction, Everything's kind of lagging behind a bit. But once we finish that construction... <gasps> Bill is cleaning! Uh, awesome. I wish you'd keep doing it, but you doing something. 
Okay, so let's, again, we'll put down another little bit of concrete floor here. Actually, we'll put down, oh, excuse me, we'll put down paved tiles instead. So that's a bit more noticeable. Wow, you're pretty ragged there, Billa. I was on target. I love the idea that, like, was it someone walked past that wall there and they're like, Oh god, my spidey sense is tingling. There's something horrible behind this wall. So what do we do? We set up a we set up an archery range next to it and just keep firing at it, pinging off the edge. Probably just infuriating what's in there consistently. Whatever's in there is just getting madder and madder and madder at the constant like tick, tick on the wall. Uh not chop wood, mine. <laughs> it's a funny image that one. Uh, what are you doing here? Ah, right, you're finishing a bamboo sculpture. So you're not actually researching anyway. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyway, we might have to leave that episode here. We accomplished a lot in this one. We we dealt with that psychic ship. We, uh, we used our precision turret, definitely very effectively. Uh, actually, don't we do anything? Let's also reclaim the soil here. Okay, so that's all actually marshy soil as well. All that. Alright. So, uh, what's I saying? Yeah, we dealt with a psychic ship. We, we recruited Billa. And sort of most importantly of everything. Well, okay. Maybe not most important, but importantly, we completed Soil Reclamation 2. And we made peace with the, uh... Was it the East Hishiraya, Hishiroa? No, it was the Green Ridge Treaty. No, they're, they're friendly with us, right? Yeah. It was the Green Ridge Treaty. We made peace with them. So, in fact, the only ones that we have to worry about now are pirates. Which, I don't know if that's good or bad, because they'll have guns. At least the East Ridge Coalition had, uh, not East Ridge, Green Ridge Coalition had, uh, bows and stuff. But there's also a lot more tribals. That's why they're still dangerous. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see how that turns out. Maybe it'll be worth pissing off the Green Ridge Treaty again just to have an enemy we can actually fight. But anyway, thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback, you just want to say hi, you want to, you know, Comment about how, how our colony's progressing, what direction you want it to take, if you've got any ideas for defences, anything like that. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section down below so I can see it, and I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.